So after Buffalo honored first responders, doctors, and athletic trainers who saved Damar Hamlin's life, Naheem Hines ran the opening kickoff 96 yards for a TD against the Patriots. The Bills won 35-23 to to clinch the number two seed in the AFC, playing inspired for Damar. RC, how special was this yesterday? That was an amazing moment. Um, you couldn't have written it any better, uh, no matter who it was. When you think about what this team has gone through, what DeMar Hamlin and his family have gone through. And I think also on Monday night at 10 o'clock, none of us could have ever expected that that was where we'd be on Sunday, that he'd be able to send out a tweet before the game. And I think Josh Allen put it best, who, by the way, I've become yeah. just an enormous fan of, of his leadership, of his compassion, of the way that he's embraced not only his teammate, but the rest of his team. And he said it, God's real. Yes. And the, the, the prayers that have gone out for DeMar Hamlin, those first responders, the athletic trainers that did the work, that all led to that moment. And that was a moment that was truly spiritual. And that was one of those times that I felt like the world told us it was okay to start loving football again. Yeah. 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 It, 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 you know, honestly, when I, when I watched it, I thought, you know, especially the opening kickoff. Mm -hmm. The opening kickoff. <laughs> How hard it is to return a kick in the NFL in this opening kickoff. And you talked about it. Josh Allen in his presser talked about that somebody informed him it was three years or three months yep. since the last time that had happened. You cannot. And, you know, as much as I toss out spiritual things out here in the Word and the Bible, you cannot sit there and say, wow, there's something to that. Yeah. After what all we went through this week and, and, and praying and praying so hard for DeMar, the, the, for that to open up the game in that environment, and, and, and you took three months and three years, you, that, that has to be God, man. And I, and I love, I love that, that Josh Allen said that. Absolutely. You know, <clears throat> it's, it's, it's interesting because, first of all, I think that, and I mentioned this on my podcast today, the sports world is owed a debt of gratitude. People like yourself, you, and so many others have done so much over the last week, really crystallizing what the brotherhood of the NFL is all about and bringing people together. We see so much divisiveness, so much nonsense, mm -hmm. so much stuff going on that we don't take time to step back enough as far as I'm, I'm talking about as a society. To step back and to realize what sports does for us. Mm. You have teammates that were scared to death and worried about their brother and praying for him and coming together and reminding us of the, of the, of the power of spirituality. You had yeah. organizations in Cincinnati and Buffalo who came together. You had medical professionals working together. You had a league office in concert with the Players Association who were completely aligned in their thinking in terms of making sure all the safety protocols and everything else in between were exercised in order to ensure every, it, it, by, by any means necessary that this kid was going to be okay. You saw DeMar Hamlin exhorting his players to go out there and yeah. handle their business. You mm. saw his pops yeah. zooming in, or you heard about his mm -hmm. pops zooming in to talk to the team. Everywhere you turn, what yeah. we saw in the National Football League and throughout the sports world mm. this week is what we aspire to see everywhere else. Yeah. And it, it's just, it, it was one of, to me, over the last week, I've never been more prouder right. to be associated with the world of sports. And I've never been more reminded of what sports gives yeah. us of as right. a society. Because Monday started off very rough right, right, by Friday. Right, right. We saw the power and, of prayer and, me, and humanity. Let me say this too, though, because, Stephen, I appreciate you throwing me in that. But the reality is, dude, and I try to tell people, and you guys know, because you're, you're in the business, the hardest thing in the world to do is make that turn in real time when you're up here high for a game and you have to settle down and make that turn. I've texted this young man right next to me four or five times already and told him, Dude, Monday night, you made me so proud. Yeah. You, you yeah. did us so well. Sensational. Ryan, he was, he was, I mean, he, you were sensational. I felt you. I felt tears running down my eyes. I listened to you talk because I felt everything you said, man. I know I've texted you five yeah. times saying that already, yeah, but it was just you, that powerful, man. It was, it was incredible the job you done, man. You did the job you did. You did us well.
Appreciate you. Yeah, brother. Ryan was there for a reason. He works all things together yeah. for our good. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.